This could be huge. What's up everyone, Belligerent here with another Bloodline video and some potentially big stuff just hit the game today. Uh, kind of a surprise and I'm not going to blow it out of, well I'm going to try not to blow it out of proportion because uh, it still is spending money which is not something I'm going to do right now on this game. Uh, they got a long ways to go to earn my uh my 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 business again but let's jump in here and let's look to this and look at this so right now in the uh what do they call this the purchase pack shop special offers you've got two companion favorability packs uh one for the scorching fire companion and one for the nas companion now i think most people don't believe that either of these champions the clans of these champions are really that valuable so i don't know that anybody's going to jump for joy for these packs okay but they're here and this is the first time well, i guess if you count roulette it's really the second way that they've given us to pick up companions outside of the clan event so what does this mean well first of all let's look at this it's thirty dollars for five companion favorability. Let's ignore the bouquets and the energy potions because it's like there's a million better ways to get 10 bouquets and 15 energy potions. So the fact that they threw that in there is just kind of, you know, a little bit of extra to make you feel better, but it's really 30 bucks for five companion uh, favors. And on these, you need 60 of the favorability to complete the companion but if you participated in the clan event and you got close to getting the companion but you didn't quite get it finished this could be a convenient way for you to finish it up now you can't actually get the full companion from this but if we can make an assumption which might be a poor assumption considering we're talking about goat games but if we can make an assumption that they're going to start putting these in the game on somewhat of a regular rotation, you might get the chance for these same packs to pop up again. If you were to buy out all six, it would be half of the favors that you needed for $180. That's pretty steep. Okay, And I am not defending this, so don't misinterpret it. I'm just kind of giving you information right now. But the information says we would need to spend about $30 to get a 10 times summon, okay? If we're talking about strictly paying. To buy enough diamonds to get a 10 times summon, you're going to need to spend about $30 in this game, okay? And when the companion, or I'm sorry, when the new clan events come out and we all do our 10x summons... We're all ecstatic if we can get a five times companion favorability. So, from that perspective, the pricing isn't off that much. Now, when you start to work in, yeah, there's so many different ways to get summons in this game now. Between Valley of Conquerors, Might Challenges, Might Packs, all of that stuff. $30 for 10 summons is really kind of bad. But if you look at it from strictly a buying diamonds to get summons perspective, it's kind of on par. So this is probably the most expensive way you can get five favor abilities. So why am I so excited about this? Belligerent, why are you excited about this? Because they're not in here. <laughs> I was teasing you a little bit. They're, they didn't add them to the companion pool, but... What it makes me think is that they're starting to hear the outcry and they're starting to hear the complaining and they're starting to feel the backlash from people not being able to get these companions any way other than the clan events. 
And the only other time that I can really remember this happening in the game that I can kind of uh, compare to is Rings. We started moaning and complaining about how rare it was to get rings and then they brought out vigor and i was like how in the world are we gonna get enough rings to do this but then we got dungeon descent and we started getting those really cheap rings and then they added these value packs with all of these rings in them and they very very steeply declined the value of rings because they heard the outcry about rings. They s recognized the problem finally. Even though all of us knew, understood the problem about a month or a month and a half before they did. They finally put the rings in the game at an affordable price. So we could actually play the game. So the fact that they're starting to give us alternate ways to get the companions. And not only the companions. I know some of this hit other people's servers before it hit my server but the ancient trove now has somebody other than doombringer in it right and not only somebody other than doombringer it's actually a choice now right this gives you the choice you can get a strixbane token here and if you want to buy it then obviously you can get let's see what is it one two three four five yeah those were all ones four five and even a mythic one, wow, that's actually not, not that bad. The fact that you can get a mythic one at the end of the Ancient Trove. So there's another example. Again, this takes money, but we're starting to see a, a slow trickle of them realizing they need to give us another way to get these clans other than the one-time clan event. Does this ever end up being... A free way to get it? I don't know. Do they ever hit some type of regular summoning pool? Do the companions ever make it into the companion pool or into the choice boxes? I don't know. As far I haven't checked in a while because I have all of the companions, but as far as I know, they're still not in the choice boxes. No, they're still not in the choice boxes. They're still not in the companion uh, the companion summons, so you still can't get them with the the heart boxes. But they're giving us more ways to get these things that we want to get outside of the clan summoning event. Outside of having to get 300 summons. It gives me a little bit of hope as far as that is concerned. The game still has tons of problems. And the prices for this still goofy. But it gives me hope that they're starting to hear the outcry. And they're starting to figure out ways to inject it into the game. And I think as much as we don't want to hear it, they have to think of ways to get to inject it into the game without also causing an outcry from all the people that spent money because they thought they had to spend money. Okay, So it may be a while before we see any type of event that gives us access to the companion favors for free or anything like that. But this is this is kind of a big step in the evolution of this game. Because up until now, we didn't know if we were ever going to get another chance to get these companion favors. But now we're starting to see it. So it's kind of big in a reserved fashion, right? I got to be reserved about my excitement, but it is exciting to see the first step towards what we are hoping eventually happens in Bloodline. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. I am belligerent. Peace.